Good morning all. I am Mayur Kare. And this presentation includes introduction to general pharmacology. The contents are definition of pharmacology, pharmacokinetic, and pharmacodynamic. The term pharmacology is derived from the Greek word pharmakon means a drug and logos means discourse. Pharmacology is a branch of science which deals with the study of drug which includes pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamics. Pharmacokinetic means what a body does to the drug and pharmacodynamic means what a drug does to the body. Pharmacokinetic includes absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion by different routes. Whereas pharmacodynamic includes drug receptor interaction. A drug is bind to a particular receptor may be an agonist or antagonist. A agonist having affinity as well as intrinsic activity, it means a agonist will bind to a particular receptor and shows a pharmacological effect, whereas antagonist having affinity but not intrinsic activity, it means a agonist will bind antagonist will bind to a particular receptor but not shows a pharmacological activity. A agonist may be partial, complete or inverse. A partial agonist will bind to a receptor but not shows a complete pharmacological activity. Therefore, IA value that is intrinsic activity to a affinity value is 0 to 1. A complete agonist will bind to a receptor and shows a complete pharmacological activity. Therefore, IA value is equal to 1. Whereas inverse agonist will bind to a receptor and shows a opposite pharmacological activity. Therefore, IA value is equal to minus 1. Uh, antagonists are classified as physical antagonism, chemical antagonism, physiological antagonism, and receptor antagonism. This receptor antagonism will includes competitive antagonism and non-competitive antagonism. Physical antagonism includes antagonism based on physical property of drug. For example, charcoal adsorbs alkaloid and can prevent their absorption which is useful in alkaloid poisoning. In chemical antagonism, the two drugs react chemically and form an inactive product. For example, potassium permanganate oxidizes alkaloid used for gastric language in poisoning. In physiological or functional antagonism, the two drugs act on different receptors or by different mechanism but have opposite overt effect on the same physiological functions. For example, histamine and adrenaline shows the effect on bronchial muscle and blood pressure. Histamine shows its effect through a H1 receptor, H2 receptor, H3 and H4 receptor on bronchial muscle and blood pressure. Histamine contracts the bronchial muscle and increases the, decreases the blood pressure. Whereas adrenaline acts through alpha and beta receptor and it dilates the bronchial muscle and increases the blood pressure. In receptor antagonism, one drug that is antagonist blocks the receptor action of the other that is agonist. Receptor antagonism is classified as competitive antagonism and non-competitive antagonism. Antagonism is chemically antagonist in competitive antagonism. Antagonist is chemically similar to the agonist and competes with the agonist for the same side. Whereas in non-competitive antagonism, antagonist is chemically unrelated to the agonist binds to a different allosteric site altering the receptor in such a way that it is unable to combine with the antagonist. Thank you.